In this video, we will be studying your chapter number 8 of NCRT that is decimals. See what are decimals? Let's say 2 divided by 3. Now if you divide 2 by 3, what you get? It's 0. Point. You put 0 here. 3, 6 are 18. Then 2 here. 0. Then 6 are 18. And so on. Right? So you get an answer as 0 0.66. Now when the number we have started that the number starts from 1's. Then it has tens as a place value, then it has hundreds as a place value, then thousand and so on. But what if the number is not in ones? So after that what the scientists have invented that we will put a decimal and the number coming after decimal will be tens place, then hundreds place then thousands place so these are your decimals let's suppose i say you have 5 rupees and 60 pesa so how you will write this you have 5 rupees and 60 pesa so you cannot write it as 500 and 60. So what you'll do, you'll put a decimal after 5, which means it is 5 rupees in 60 pesa. 5 is a whole number that you're having and 60 pesa is a fraction you're having. So here 0 is a whole and 66 is a fractional part. So these are your decimals that when you convert your fractions into the decimal numbers. Now, if I say, write it this in the form of decimal. So, can you write it? See, Ravi's pencil is 7 centimeter and 55 millimeter long. 7 centimeter is a whole part. And after that, 55 millimeter. Right? So, decimals and centimeter. Which is 7 centimeter and 55 millimeter. If I have to write that Raju's pencil is 8 cm and 3 mm long, which means 8 cm and 3 mm, so we will write it as 8.3 cm, which is 8 decimal 3 cm. Now, decimals on the number line. See, this is the number line we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and from 0 to 1 if we see the scale we have 10 numbers between them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and this is 10. So it is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and 1. After 0 0.9 what comes? 1. And if we say between 1 and 2 if we have to find out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So which is 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9. So in this way you can represent your decimals on the number line. As we represent the fractions on the number line, similarly we can represent the decimals on the number line. So I hope you have understood the decimals. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.